What's up everybody, my name is Carl and welcome to another Ubuntu Server 14.04 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Counter-Strike Global Offensive Server. It's really quite simple and it doesn't take very long at all. First thing you want to do is go ahead and turn on your server and log in through your favorite terminal program. Then obviously, sudo apt git update. Always want to start with an update. All right, for our 64-bit users, we need to install some dependencies for Steam CMD. So sudo apt git install lib 32 g cc1. We also need to install screen sudo apt git install screen. All right, once all the software is finished installing, we'll need to set up Steam CMD. So let's go ahead and make a new directory. sudo mkdir steam cmd. Let's go ahead and change that new directory, cd. sudo wgit http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam power.com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz we'll need to extract this new content so sudo tar negative x v z f steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gc go ahead and do a quick ls to verify the contents have been extracted let's go ahead and open up steam cmd so sudo period forward slash steam cmd dot sh excellent we'll go ahead and log in as anonymous Now we'll need to specify where we want to install our Counter-Strike Global Offensive Server. So force underscore install underscore dir. I'm just going to go ahead and do period period forward slash csgo just for sake of ease. And then app underscore update 740 validate. This is a large download so it may take it a minute. Be patient. When the download finishes, you can exit by typing quit. Let's go ahead and change directories into our new CSGO directory. So cd period period forward slash CSGO. You can do an ls and see all your dot and all our new files and server stuff inside. Now what we'll go ahead and do is uh, create a startup script. So sudo vim startup.sh. Make sure to press insert to go into insert mode. I'm going to go ahead and give you the command here to start a classic casual. Um, information and documentation on other game mode setups uh, will be in the links in the description. So for classic casual, go ahead and do a period forward slash src ds underscore run space minus game space csgo space negative console plus game underscore type space zero space plus game underscore mode space zero space plus game I'm sorry map <laughs> group space mg underscore active space plus mapp space de underscore dust two. You can go ahead and press escape colon wq and then enter to save the script. Next we'll need to do is change the properties of the script so we can actually execute it. To do that you can type in sudo 
C-H-M-O-D. Plus X. Startup. Dot S-H. If you type LLS again, you'll see it, and it'll be green. Next, we want to do is run a uh, open a new screen so when we open our server, it doesn't crash when we close our terminal. To do though, we need to do sudo screen negative s. I'm going to go ahead and call it csgo for easy identification. Now we go ahead and run our startup script sudo period forward slash startup.sh. The server takes 10 seconds to run. Just give it a second. Once you see VAC secure mode is active and GC connection established for server version 199 instance IDX1, your server is online and ready to be connected to. The only other thing you'll need to do now is make sure port 27015 for TCP and UDP are forwarded to the computer or server that's running the server or else you won't be able to connect to it from an external connection. We can go ahead and use control AD to detach from screen and we can reattach to the screen by typing in sudo screen uh, negative r cs go and they'll bring us back to our screen remember to always detach from the screen before exiting your terminal or else your server may crash and that's all there really is to it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial check out the um, link in the description it will take you to my um, google drive account where you can actually see all the commands that were used in this tutorial written out i'll keep that documentation updated as the servers uh, change and you know upgrade and uh yeah guys if you enjoyed the video show by leaving me a like if you want to see more tutorials in the future subscribe if you have a suggestion for a future tutorial leave it in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video see you